Hey guys, in this video, we are going to focus on how the GUID function works. Okay, we'll see what is the GUID function and how it works and how we can practically use it. Now for this, first of all, to understand the GUID function, let's drag and drop a simple label. Okay, anywhere in your app designer platform. So I've got our label. Now for this label, I'll select this label and then go to the general. Here, let me use that function. So I'll put equals to simple. And I'm going to select uh, under the functions, right? Under the functions, you have something called GUID. So what is GUID? Global Unique Identifier, right? So Global Unique Identifier, that means it creates a unique identification, okay? So here, let me use it. So I have used a GUID. So what happens by that? Let me show you. You know, when I write GUID, you have to put open and close parenthesis and you are done. So this is the function. Now, the question that comes in our mind, what is the real use of this GUID? So what, what does it do? So let me show you. Now, if you look at, here I had put a label, right? Forget about rest of the things, okay? I'll explain that later. Look at this. Here it has created a number starting with E ending with some 9F, some random alpha numeric identification number is generated, which remains unique. For example, if I refresh it, you will see the number will change. Do you see 9F? So every time that function is utilized, right, you can see a different number is getting generated every time. So it's a global unique identifier, right? That's the meaning. You can see every time it is changing. So this is a GUID is a function using which you can generate some unique identifiers. That is the meaning. Okay. Returns a unique identifier, which is an alphanumeric set of numbers. Okay. Now, what is the practical use of it? That is the question that comes to our mind. Okay. No worries. Now let me delete this label just that is for just an understanding purpose but let's do some practical usage so one of the example that i could think of let's say we wanted to save some files whose name has to be all the time unique okay but it should start with a given name it should start with a given name but again end with some uh, many times we use the system date time and uh, seconds we put all of that to create a unique name. So with the presence of GUID function in UiPath app, this becomes quite easy. For example, here I have used a text box. Okay, this is a simple text box. Below that there is a button and there is a result text box. So let's use the GUID and create some result which is going to create a file name which would remain unique all the time. So for this, I'll click on this button go to the event create a rule okay and i'm here i'm using a set value activity in the set value activity let me use a app variable the variable you know i have few variables so let me use one of them called result is blank now in this one what i'm going to do i am going to use the guid function so what i will do i'll put a equals to symbol i'll use the concat function in the text box i'll get an entry right so the text box is nothing but the input text box in the page there's something called input text box so whatever the user is entering with that it will concat the function guid value of this guid function so that means every time the input will be user choice but the rest of it will be auto generated by the system to the guid function and i'm doing a concat that means adding both of it so this data will be stored in the result variable let me go to the result text box and here in the general here i have put the value binding i am using the result variable okay so whatever the value is there in result it will become the input for this text box so whatever value is there it will be appearing over here okay so this is what we i have done now let's run a preview and see how it is working okay so remember what we have done here this is important okay event if you see concat input text guid so 
let the app appear so enter a file name so let's say i am going to enter a file name uh, called of uh, client abc underscore legal this is the file name let's say this, this should be the initial file name but rest of it should be different okay now for this what i am going to do i am going to click on create a unique file name the moment i click on create what would happen this rule will start running and what this rule will do will take the input what is the input we have given client abc underscore legal plus it will create identification number and add it and show it so let me click on create a unique file name you can see client abc legal and after that d and all these things have started let's say i would like to give some space let's say i want to create a space that also we can do it uh, or underscore i want to use so double quote and i'm going to put an underscore here and then i'll put a comma here okay so that way we can differentiate so let's run a preview once again okay so let me write something like client xyz underscore legal I'm going to create so now you can see legal underscore and this is a unique identifier so like that you can create anywhere uh, you know you can think of practical situations anywhere there is a unique thing is required that is where the GUID function will be quite useful so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in the next content till then take care bye bye